Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Leon Lush video. Welcome back to uh No 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 no, it's a brand new beef casserole. A beef casserole? Yeah. Is that I don't know yeah. what we're well, doing. We don't now. say we don't call it videos on this channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new beef casserole. I'm Leon Lush, as you can see. I've just shaved my beard off. You I forgot the part where you say, Hey, I'm so thankful for you joining me for a few minutes here today. Yeah, well that would be a lie, so <laughs> uh, well, I'm not uh, I, don't, dude. I don't tell lies, so What's up everybody? Uh a little different than we normally do. I'm in, I'm in England right now, actually. Yeah, in a random hotel room. In a random hotel room here for Insomnia. And this is going to be my first actual, like, in-person reaction collaboration. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, and, I mean, you're a veteran. I mean, you and the whole UK crew, Will and E, Memeless, all these yeah, cats. We, this is like... we've been looking at weird people for a long time, uh, not including each other. It's just, you're basically my Nigel today, is basically Yeah, that is me. Yeah. So if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I've made a few videos on some televangelists in the past, like Peter Popov and a few others, uh, the long tube filled with demons guys. And I've had a few requests to do this guy, Bob Larson. Uh, so we're just going to take a quick peek at what Bob has to offer. He's really... I think a powerful message. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at him now, and he's kind of got like the same couch setup that we've got going on. So yeah, yeah, it's very actually, fitting, actually. actually too. Leather couch, leather couch. We might even perform an exorcism here if we're lucky enough to learn something yeah, from Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Though. Let's get it going. We'll get kicked out. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life... Did he just hit a woman? <laughs> I mean... I'm pretty sure that's what he's watched to do. If you're having, like, relationship issues, somebody slapping you around the head, is that really going to help? Maybe well, it would, actually. If you're filled with demons, yes, it's an exorcism. That's what it is. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. Oh, I got set free of a demon. I am free of this, of this demon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's going to get good right now. I know it. Oh, oh what is that? Hold on. Uh, what? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he looks like 2016 on Alex. Was that, did he just start out the exorcism with this guy performing cunnilingus on the microphone? Yeah, I mean, what does that uh, really show? Uh, the, uh, the demon inside him is a freak. I think the microphone just came, if I'm being honest. Uh... Beast. What? Beast. The beast. The beast. <laughs> the beast. That's terrifying. The beast. She just threw a Bible at his head. Okay. Did she just smother his face with a Bible? I think they just killed him. Jesus, Jesus. We go, dude. Well, I just stand up randomly like this and what? Just walk around the room. You know what? Don't hotel rooms have Bibles in the. Oh shit! Wait, do we actually? Oh, have oh shit! Get yes. over here, boy. Yes. We are only like 30 seconds into the video, but I'm keeping this on yeah, standby. I'm getting exercised. Woo! Just then, David's men and Joab returned from a raid and brought with them a great deal of plunder. But Abner was no longer with David in Hebron because David had sent him away, and he had gone in peace. Second Samuel 3:33. Yeah. Come on, we're not. We're not. I thought you were going to hit me, though. <laughs> I just... Don't have ah! Ah! Push it up. Push it up. Oh, he's actually crying. He's been through something. There. He's gone through a whole gamut of emotions. He started off with cunnilingus. Yeah. Went to exuberance and was dancing around like he was at some sort of reggae fest. Yeah, I think that's... Then he, then he got delivered by a Bible, Bible yeah. and now he's crying and being held up. Yeah, that's how all good sexual experience I was, was going to say, it sounds pretty much like my sex life. GET OUT, DEMONS! Call me the angel. I'm 23. Uh, nationality? I'm Puerto Rican by heritage. Single? Yes, sir. Okay. You're going to tell me who you are and where this curse goes, Satan. That book is so threatening. It's almost like when you hold. You're gonna tell me who you are. Oh, with he, the Orion with the pipe just, organ in the background. Yeah, did he just do that? This yeah. dude's about to get walloped by the New Testament. Yeah, you, yeah, you could see. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gonna be hit so hard, he's gonna go back to the old. He Testament. looks like a man that's actually been hit with the Bible before. You can see that in his eyes. And I'm gonna take this sword. And I'm gonna put it right through you, and you're not gonna like it. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, no, I wouldn't like that either. Like, do it or not, if somebody said, I'm going to put a sword for you and you're not going to like it, I'd go, yeah, actually. Well, it's a Bible sword, though. Uh, maybe arguably worse. You're the, being pierced with the, the word, power of, with God, the word yeah. of God. Is there any words of God really in there? Stab? Yeah, is there any words of God in there that have that amount of power? You're going to tell me who you are. And I'm going to put the word of God right through you. I'm going to stab you in the back with this word and you're going to like it. <laughs> oh Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death that I may declare your praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. Be gone, demons! Be gone, demons! I'll, I'll, I will leave. If you need me to, Leo, I'll get up, I'll go. Too far? <laughs> no. No, you're good. No. You're a good I'll, sport. I'll be fine. Yeah. I have exorcised the demons. I'll tell you what, this is the equivalent of exercise. This house is clear. <laughs> Name that movie in the comments. You get one free absolutely nothing. Keep it going! Get up and face it! Who are you? Who are you? Lucifer? Lucifer is a very stubborn spirit. I came here for deliverance and I got freed from the spirit of Lucifer. Uh, I actually, I came here for the free bagels and yeah. orange juice, but I got freed of the demon inside of me. All of it goes to God's glory. I just want to keep going higher and higher levels with God. Well, I just want to keep going higher and higher with Bob Larson, the real exorcist. What would you ask him if you had the chance? What would I ask Bob Larson? Yeah. I would ask him if he would let me exorcise. Of a faithful. Yeah, yes. great. Or even him. <laughs> what if Bob needs to be exorcised of his Exorcision. I, I reckon he'd say no. You <laughs> think so? Yeah, I think he'd go, nah. I mean, you know, I'd actually ask him. I'd ask him if I could just poke my finger up in that vagina looking neck of his right above that little fold. <laughs> and I reckon he would exercise you for that. Yeah. Just as he's trying to he's trying to bash the demons out of me with the Bible, I'm just gonna be up there. He'd probably start hitting you harder. Just ooh. Yeah, he would he'd right break your hand. I mean he'd break your hand. Right in that vagina looking neck there. Right above the what do you call that? The collar. <laughs> The priest, the right above the collar. I don't know what you call any of this. I don't know. It looks like a gizzard. Like, he could be a nice Thanksgiving turkey if you cooked him up right. Oh, my God. A lot of questions that we get have to do with the area of sexuality. What do you do if you're dating a Christian guy who has had premarital sex and is not regretful about it? What do you do if your girlfriend of two and a half years lets you know that one time in college she was going through a hard time and she did a bukkake scene for $600. Well, you know, you pick this up right now and you smack her around the end of it. Give it a good as, one right on the side of my dome. As fast as, as hard Jesus. as you can. As exactly what you did. Uh, I'm really strong. So. What if, she, if she's regretful about it? You know what? Water and under then the bridge. Her, we her. exercise the demons. We're in like Flynn. I'm throwing a ring on it. We're getting married. But if she's not regretful of a bukkake she did in college because she needed $600 to pay for books, I reckon you still hit with this anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be a Bible hit, no yeah, matter really what. Is. Regretful or not, someone's getting domed in the face with the Holy Bible. As you may have heard me say before, when you have sex under these circumstances, you get an STD, a sexually transmitted demon. <laughs> You know, actually, Dude, I, I, I did not see that coming. No, neither did I. I did uh, not see ironically. that coming. I'm going to be honest with you, though. <clears throat> I kind of would be into a sexually transmitted demon. True, actually. That, that, sounds, sounds, like, that sounds like a reasonable time. It's better than STD. <laughs> yeah, well... You had a choice, like chlamydia or yeah. like Lucifer goes up your cock. AIDS, sexually transmitted demon. Pick one. I'm oh. taking demon cock yeah. 100 times out yeah, of 100. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why the Bible says, stop, stay away from it, flee fornication. Stop, stay away from it. Leave fornication. Put an angel to walk on your right. Oh. On your left. No. No. He's definitely going to sexually transmit David. <laughs> yeah, he does. Look at it. Oh my god, they're hitting with the triple cross? The quad cross? Bye bye demon! Bye bye demon! Thank, Thank you, you Bob! Bye bye demon!
it. I'll fight it first. Thank you, Bob. I'll Thank work. you, Leon, boy. I've worked hard for this STD. You gotta get some. You gotta get some! Oh, so hard. Say, th say thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. So you've seen the power of Pastor Bob Larson and the message he's bringing to the people. Uh, and we've seen it here in this hotel room between yes. Alex and I. We've seen a lot of this hotel room. In the room. power that a little bit of a... <laughs> Will do. Thump from the HB can do for you. No demons here, am I right? Yeah, but no, everybody Not a never. demon in sight. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. Uh, I'm demon free, <laughs> so I, this could have gone any better for me, yeah. really. <clears throat> if you need some icy hot for the bruises I gave you from this Bible, <laughs> there's some in the shop down in the lobby. Yeah, or a lot of drinking. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here and you subscribe, that would mean the world to me. You know I love reading your comments, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Please check out my friend I'm Alex if you don't already know who he is for some reason on YouTube and subscribe to him. We're gonna have a video on much and we're going to have a video on your channel as well, so be sure to check that out. One last thing before you go, if you could just grab a Holy Bible, if you're in a hotel, you know where it is. Yeah. If you're at home and you have one, that's perfect, but just grab it. Read a passage from 2 Deuteronomy, <clears throat> preferably chapter 3, verse 4, one of my favorites, and then take that Holy Bible and smack the piss out of your dog with it and get rid of those mother demons. And after you do, and your dog's probably lying unconscious on the floor, this is going terribly bad because I know, <laughs> I know people love pets. <laughs> the ads have, the ads have not, gone. This is, we are already, I think we, we just brought went, the demons back into the We room. just went off the ledge. <laughs> yes, we did. Anyways, you pick up your unconscious dog, you put him on your shoulder, and you hurl him out the front door into the garden, and then you pull down your pants and you hit thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.